it's definitely good. We had a we had a lot of time off, and I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rusty right now, but um, for the most part, it, it's good to get back and get in the groove of things. We had. Um, I'm just happy to be practicing again and get a chance to go out here with these guys and uh, prepare for a big goal like the national championship. What have you seen from Auburn so far? Obviously, you aren't really majoring yeah. in game planning yet, but have you had a chance to look at them? Yeah, we um we seen some little things they do. Uh, they got a great quarterback, a uh, great running back. Um, got a good receiver over there, and they do some nice things over there. They, they're a hard nosed team. Their linemen are really good, but um I just feel like it's a matter of what we do. I mean, we go out there and prepare well, and it should take care of itself. What's it like for you guys just to be going back to the fundamentals again, something you guys worked on in fall camp? Um, it's really good. It, it it really refreshes you. It gets you out of your bad habits if you got any. Um, it just helps you get a better feel for what you're doing out there on the field. And then, I mean, at the end of the day, it just makes you a lot more comfortable with what you're doing. How much have you guys still kind of talked to Tyler Hunter, and how much has he still been a part of that secondary on this team? Oh, I mean, it, I couldn't even explain to you how, how big of a help he is. He He's out there every day um, critiquing us on what we're doing. Um, I always look at him and like, hey, if I'm doing anything wrong, tell me. And um, he's just like another source we can rely on just to make sure we get that much better each every day and make sure it's actually worth it. But um, for the most part, I feel like he's been just like one of the coaches out there. He's learned his defense really well. Um, and he just he just helped us out a lot through this whole year, and I mean I owe a lot of my success to him too. I'm sure obviously he wants you guys to have success yeah. even without him, but mm -hmm. can you tell how hard it is for him to see where you yeah. guys are now? Yeah, um, definitely. I can um I know it hurts him each and every time, but um I think just him being able to see us do so well, and just because he's helped us with that, I feel like that right there is just enough for him too, just this year. But um for the most part, we just go out there every time and just try try to represent for him, just because we know he can't be out there. Uh, uh, with us, so we owe it to him just to go out there and play hard. Is it difficult not getting overly excited for this game? I mean, this is one of the, the goal at the beginning of the season is to be here. And yeah. It's one of those games you dream of as a kid to be in. Yeah, um, I mean, it's definitely exciting, but I think what's what's really good is um just how our maturity has went up this year. We never got our emotions up or down for any game. We we always kept it at the same level, and um. We just hold a standard that's really good around here, and that's, that, I feel like that's what's going to get us this win. Speaking of getting this win, hopefully, you know, the SEC has held that crystal ball over the mm -hmm. past several years. How good is it just to, is, is that just extra motivation to taking the stab at the SEC this, on the big stage? Um, definitely. It's really good to get the opportunity to do that. Um, I mean, all the talk has been about SEC, but uh, this is our chance to go in there and show them that the ACC or any team of that can compete with those boys. And, um, I feel like it's disrespectful most of the time just for them not to give us that recognition that, hey, these guys are good, they, they made it here. And I'm, I'm glad we get an opportunity because when we, we go there, we're definitely going to show them like what we're about. Does it, ever get, does it ever get frustrating at all just to beat? I mean, you guys have stayed true to this process all season and mm -hmm. dominated essentially every team you've played. And you still have people that are saying, well, they haven't played anyone. They haven't yeah. done anything. Mean, Still, people that don't recognize what you guys have done this I mean, people talk. You can't control that. And Jimbo says that all the time, control what you can control. And that's what we've been doing. I mean, they set this schedule up for us, and we've taken on every team and beaten them. So, I mean, what more could you – I mean, if we dominated, so what more could you want? I mean, we, we just want somebody to play. We love playing football, and that's what we're going to stick to. We don't need to talk about how good we are or anything like that. We just go out there, prepare well, and play the game. And, I mean, the results, I mean, it shows what we do. And, I mean, I, I feel like we can go against anybody. And, I mean, we want anybody, to tell you the truth. And um, I, just, I just think the maturity of this team is just at an all-time high. And just going out there every day and just doing what we do, it's fun. We make it fun and we play for each other. And I mean, I mean, I'm ready. I don't, I don't care who we play. After you guys uh, won the ACC championship and returned to campus here, what were some things that you know people came across you to tell you, or uh, have people who are even family members been reaching out to you to get some tickets for this big game? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, everybody wants to see this game. They want to see us play, and um, I mean, it's it's good to see that. It's good to see where we started from just with my actually in my class in general we we went through some tough times came up short with some some losses like nc state and things like that but um just all that work we put in to to get to this point now is definitely good but um everyone's excited they want to see us bring the win i mean we're gonna get it
Are there uh, any guys on Auburn's roster that, that you're familiar with or know about? Um, actually, the running back Trey. Um, he he's been down here in Tallahassee quite a few times. I'm I'm friends with his friends too, and um, he's been down here. I was he actually came before the. When they play Alabama, and I asked him, and I was like, "Hey, are you guys gonna get the win?" He's like, "Yeah, we're gonna get them." And I mean, they they sure did. But and I mean, it's kind of crazy that we're gonna end up playing them. But I mean, it's gonna be a good one. I'm ready. What do you think about going against them? You know, especially after that performance you had in the I'm ready. I mean, we we're not scared of anybody. We don't back down from anybody. We don't get our emotions up for just one person. I mean, we respect what he does over there, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna respect what we do too. You know they're going to run the ball. What are the challenges Two more that questions. with, you know, knowing what they're going to do and still being able to prepare for that? I mean, it, if we know what they're going to do, that's better for us, to tell you the truth. I mean, if they that's their thing. They want to run the ball until you stop it. And, I mean, we plan on stopping it. We plan on preparing for that. And when they throw it, I know our secondary is going to be excited for that. We're going to be ready for that. But, um, I mean, hey, we'll see what, see what they do. Ronald Darby's been a guy that seems to have shied away from all, all season. Mm -hmm. What does he do so so well that makes teams want to not throw? Lock people down. I mean, that, that's really what he's been doing. I mean, you just go out there and do what you're supposed to do, do the right keys, pay attention to what your assignment is. And um, he's been doing great. And I feel like they, who I, it doesn't even matter his side either. They can go to the other side and it's still going to be just as tough. And I mean, we got two safeties over top with me and Jalen. And we've, I feel like we've all played together as a whole. And I mean, just got to stop everything.